What determines if a city is going to be healthy or not? If I were to use just Bend, Oregon and Bozeman, Montana as examples as the standard for health, then looking at the community meals, you see a, a big difference between them and other cities that have very unhealthy people who are drug addicted, obese, suffer various diseases of, of a very, um, <clears throat> say a uh, heartbreaking manner so the the both one the uh, bend and and uh, both Bozeman, they both have community meals that are very well supported the ones that are not so successful for health standards their community meals are held at the homeless shelter um, like this city for example which I won't I won't mention so what's the deal with that? How does that make a difference? I think maybe you could get more of the community involved with uh, more group community meals that are outside of the, the, the homeless shelter. If you have them solely uh, held at the homeless shelter, then that's gonna exclude more people? In McMinnville, Oregon, I was impressed also with the health of the people. They looked healthy. Um, just, just you know, just my eyeballing them over time, over distance, counting numbers, just, just based upon my own standards. I guess you could say everybody's got their own standards, but it's like they're healthy and they have a meal every day of the week. I went to the I went to the Salvation Army and they're like, here's a list of uh, a different place to have a meal every day of the week. And none of them were at a homeless shelter. They're all at di different churches. And it, it really includes the community. <clears throat> so is that, is that, uh, does that make the difference? I don't think entirely, but I think it's a fine example. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, behavioral health. Oh, I don't want to mention it. So that's the that's uh, the difference I'm focusing on at the moment. So the criminals may leave me alone because of the way my car looks inside, but cops definitely won't. It's fair to say I'm a little lost. Never been this way. Oh man, no sidewalk? Oh, very crumbly. Whoa, crumbly, oh, so crumbly. Crumbles. These aren't sidewalks, they're crumbles. Crumble walkways. Scenic Falls Federal Bank? Scenic Falls Federal something. And this house. Alright, how many broken spokes is that now? downtown all this fence cleaning person here probably maybe Idaho Falls should be called Idaho flaws I see a lot of flaws in this city you no know, reflecting on this year I gotta say the mosquitoes weren't that bad there were a couple of nights but I was able to put a screen up over the on the sunroof uh, in in some cities that had bad mosquito problems and that covered the problem really nicely so this this Fred Myers in this city it's really lacking it's probably the most lacking one I've, I've seen the peanut butter machines broken down they don't sell fenugreek 
the choices are are uh, pretty much the same after that. But it's like, what makes this what the story unique is is those couple little things that I appreciate. I had some cars pull up next to mine, and they just sit there with a car running and th this time the exhaust was getting inside my car it's not hard to smoke me out <laughs> to make sure I double check these straps and triple check because for, I, I just looked and they were not strapped I thought I did it last night and I forgot so I, you know, I need to check my work What's the deal with all those shovels? I don't know if anybody's living in that car. Drive through tobacco and ice cold beer. Drive through. Alcohol in the fruit section. Alcohol in the fruit section. You know, I'm kind of glad that these grapes aren't very sweet and they're just like water. But for the price and value, it's not, maybe not that great. Seriously, you need to attach a daily value to the sugars. They could do it for everything else. You know, smell is not healthy for you when it smells so good that it, you keep smelling it out of addiction. Addiction to a smell so much that it gets you sick. And usually it's an extract that you find with, you know, those car scents, those extracts they use. Idaho loves the curvy, curvy sidewalks. What a mess. They put this curve downtown and then they then they have to pave it in a different way around the curves. I don't like it. I'm trying to walk straight. Three businesses within a block of each other playing music outside. It's not even a Mexican influenced area. Blackfoot is where Goathead is uh, being I'm seeing on the sidewalks. Blackfoot. All right, so there's a county museum that may be free. Okay, it's two dollars. Yeah, no way. <clears throat> Museums in this area seem to think they're sitting on gold mines. When is this thing gonna fall down? It's quite an angle. What happened? It's the most angled pole on the on the back road. That's what I want to do is blow four dollars at the potato museum, and then another three at the the regular museum just for a day, just to look at stuff for a day. And nickel and dime you. This open parking. They got a lot. Just think, right now there's the Yellowstone with a 16 mile, and mile backup of people waiting to see Old Faithful. And around here, they got stuff to look at. Charging money, not $35. And there's no line. But for me, it's not worth it to pay that. 
It's not worth it to pay $3, not worth it to pay $35. September is the best month for Yellowstone. It'd probably be the best month for a lot of other, a lot of other uh, tourist attractions. Look at this. These guys have this big um, LED sign, and they don't change the message at all. It just keeps flashing back to a welcome. What a waste of money. The ding of a wait is as close to a church bell as I need. Oh yeah, church is in session, baby. Time to start lifting. Come here to get a good snooze. Let me just say, I think I know why these shoes were never sold and that ended up in the, in the, uh, the second hand store or reduced market store is because they're bad luck. They're absolutely bad luck. I keep getting things inside that keep poking me and, and then, and then my feet sweat easier for some reason. I have to change out my socks more often and they're air ventilated. I don't get it. They're bad luck shoes. <clears throat> I think that's a strike against the Mexican community. I think there might be a lot of Mexicans. <clears throat> it's like a bad accident happened here. Right, right at the Walmart. All right, I just decided to swing behind because a lot of Walmarts you can wrap around. Just wrap around. These look like new bicycles. They're tossing. They're tossing brand new bicycles in the trash for uh, various reasons this big one is <laughs> I wouldn't I don't think there's anything I could use off of it maybe the kickstand it's kind of screwy though I can't tell if it's any better yeah it's brand new tires ah uh, maybe not I need thick ones but yeah they're throwing away some nice new took off the pedal yeah not Pedals. Oh yeah, shocks. It's bird poop on it. That's strange. I've never seen a Walmart do this. Well, I intended to wrap around. I guess I could hop the fence, but oh, I, I'm not feeling like I should. That wasn't too hard. Whoops. Got to get rid of evidence. The cash store. They extend into Wisconsin. take a look in this bag and look at this it's an empty box of anti-diarrheal tablets somebody stole anti anti-diarrheal tablets what a dummy everybody's heard of blackers Mattress of furniture, yeah, going out of business, <laughs> maybe. No semi or RV parking overnight, <laughs> but my car can pass. Motel Cafe, looks like it's uh, been out of business for a while. There, you can look inside. Had an old uh, smoke shop. 
Which door? Which door? They're all going to present the same appearance, most likely. Oh my god, what a trash pit. You might find something useful in here. How about four? What a trash pit. Any mice? Any rats? Wow. Just... Just abandoned junk. Whoa! I might have broken a spoke. This thing got in my spoke. Jeez. You can see. These people just, like, left in a hurry or something. Why would there be all these rooms of stuff? Just abandoned quickly. That's the third room full of stuff. It's a separate room. And with doors, doors wide open. Not really so much stuff in here, but there's enough. See a... Uh, a futon. This stuff was kind of quickly abandoned and then it looks like it may be abandoned five years ago. And maybe these boarded up doors and windows are, um, they got stuff in them too. All of this stuff. This is weird. They just, it is a lot of junk. I guess I could have opened up. Yeah, the door was broken. And then another one here. Well, there's no live animals. An old computer, fridge. Very curious. Huh. It said it was a cafe motel. And then you got, I'll try to quickly look here all kinds of old stuff yeah I need more light for that just a piles the city's just kind of city's just kind of operating around this just ignoring it that's weird it says, I was looking on the other side that it said a hotel cafe. Yeah, they're, they're definitely um, riding vehicles around this. You can, you can see the building next to it is uh, still got its power outlet, so that's within the past year. No power is being used at all. Some kind of a uh, Maybe a restaurant supporting it. You could look through those windows. Definitely look through these. Yeah, some kind of a bar. A really gutted out bar. That's not taking any electricity. Uh, you know, buildings get abandoned all the time. Somebody smashed. You could walk right on in, I think, with a smashed window. Somebody, some kids probably smashed the window. So now you could go inside. Oh, jeez. What a mess.